Year 3 of Apex Legends Global Series was a roller coaster of emotions, with TSM's stunning comeback and a championship that kept us on the edge of our seats. But now, Year 4 looms on the horizon, promising even more excitement. Rumors were all over the community about his Watson on retiring and returning to the competitive state. Well, it turns out all the rumors were true. He is coming back, you heard it right. His Watson will be playing for Furia again at ALGS Year 4. Today we dive into the implications of his Watson's return and why it could make this year a mild stone in Apex Legends esports. So, let's jump right in. Let's begin with a jaw-dropping twist. Furia, known for their aggressive playstyle and a magical 2022 run, decided to drop their entire roster. Yes, you heard it right. Albra Lily, Panzers, and Zera are now free agents. Amidst all these roster shuffles, the Battlefly website leaked a potential game changer. Is Watson under the Furia flag? And that's where the rumors started. And guess what? The rumors were more than whispers. They were reality. His Watson is back. And he's not just gonna be another player. He's a symbol of hope for Furia's fresh start. So, his Watson will be playing for Furia with with I Madness and Kian, which he explains how this happened. Furia canned the roster. They're basically gonna can the roster. They're asking me like advice on like what to do. And I was like, well, you know, I gave them some of my opinions. And then I was like, well, to be honest, I don't know how you would make this happen, but um, if I could play with Kian and Madness, I would play. And they were like, okay, we'll call Kian. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> basically what happened. Let's talk about his Watson's story. His Watson's journey is one of passion, controversy, and resilience. From his early days in Arkansas, battling for internet, to becoming an Apex Arena force, his rise was one of a kind. His gameplay, both feared and admired, drew the attention of the gaming world. He got signed with Furia in 2022, just a few days before championship. And that's when he shone even brighter. He led Furia to glory, a team that was known for their camping style in comms, all of a sudden they changed changed their playstyle, led by his Watson, of course. Furia secured the second place and his Watson became the MVP. The next year, his Watson got into a controversy and got banned from the tournaments and eventually he came back, but the damage was already done and the splits didn't go so well. All of a sudden, his Watson decided to retire from esports. At the meantime, Albert Lilly got signed with the team and he played for a short period until they got all dropped. And now his Watson is back to lead the team again. Well, with new players. About Albert Lele, he is such a good player, but he is not able to get a chance to prove his dedication to Apex Esport. I hope he finds a good team and he is able to step back into the arena one more time in order to show what he is capable of. And now, a flashback to Year 3 of ALGS. Year 3 of ALGS was a spectacle, with TSM's dramatic Split 1 victory and Dark Zero's Split 2 triumph. The championship was a battlefield of surprises, culminating in TSM's breathtaking 3 games winning streak to seize the title. If you want to know the details about LGS Year 3 Championship, you can check this video out. But for now, let's get back to the video. Now, let's talk about Year 4. As we look forward to LGS Year 4, we see a new battlefield on the horizon. It's shaping up to be unlike any season before, any year before, characterized by intensity, competition, and unpredictability. His Watson's returns as a layer of excitement, but in the world of LGS, stars can rise and fall unpredictably. Every team is hungry for glory, setting the stage for an unforgettable year. I am looking forward to it, I'm sure you are too if you're watching this video till this moment. Alright, that's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on his Watson's return to the competitive scene? Drop your comments below, let's discuss what ALGS Year 4 has in store for us. Alright, that's it for today. If you enjoyed watching, give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more awesome content like this. Until next time, stay safe and much love to you all. Peace out, Professor Mo.